All right, folks, Pachinius88, and we are back in Ivywood Hills. We're in Criminal Case, heading on to the last and final stage. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this district so far. If you guys could throw a like and a comment down below, if we could get up to 150 or even 200 likes, it'd be fantastic. Uh, hopefully, we could get a whole bunch of people seeing this and getting into this game like you guys all have. The Dead Carpet. I like it. I like the name. Hey, it's tonight's the night. It's the Ivywood Film Awards ceremony. You can give me an award for being the best dressed police officer. A bottle of gold stag would make a nice prize. Guys, listen to Marshall Ace. We don't have time to gossip about the Ivywood Awards. We know the Utopians have planned something for awards night. They've made a film to brainwash the entire population of Ivywood. Well, yeah, but that was when the Utopians still had a leader. But now Holly Hopper is dead. Surely we have nothing to fear. Leaderless or not, the Utopians are still dangerous. Remember what they've done to Andrea? She's still on sick leave. What do you propose we do then? Ace is right. If Andrea were here, she'd tell us to check the awards theater for suspicious activity. Holy booze. It's Amy's therapist who deserves an award. I've never seen the kid so confident. She's bossing us around like she's the new chief. Yeah, I heard that, Frank. Ace, I'll go walk the red carpet with you. You need a serious partner tonight. Whoa. To be f completely honest, uh, I do. And uh, I actually would prefer Amy to Frank at this point. Frank's just gonna be cracking jokes. And mentioning that he can't actually solve anything. Oh man, Tyler Snakes. Well, he kinda was a he kind of was an idiot, but, uh, uh let's see, where's the, where's the bottle, purple curtain, and the megaphone. Oh, yep, because I'm one of the first people to actually get into the case, because as always, guys, I wake up at 2.30 in the morning, my time, to actually play the game. You're right to be suspicious, Ace. This man's dead, without a doubt. Looks like he's suffocated. Oh, you say you know him? So his name is Tyler Snakes. He's a famous Ivywood producer. Oh, I've read about him. Tyler Snakes was in charge of organizing the awards ceremony. I agree. What are the chances he would drop dead on awards tonight, Ace? We're dealing with another murder here. The awards organizer is killed before the ceremony, right when the Utopians were planning to brainwash the population. Could the two events be linked? Then the Utopians might still be planning to brainwash people, and maybe they didn't hesitate to kill one of their own members in the process. Well, let's have a look at the clues you found. The movie posters in that envelope must be tonight's award winners. We should have a look inside. And what about this picture? Hey, isn't that Velma Bannister? This actress who tried to seduce Frank? Well, this woman has shown she cannot be trusted. Do you think you could retrieve the faded message on the photo, Ace? I'm gonna do my best. But first, as always, guys, I gotta grab a whole bunch of stars. So let me go grab some stars and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, we're back. Grab some stars. Let's examine some stuff. Wow. It's a heck of a lot of posters. Oh, they're gonna be all the movies that we uh, that we did. That's kind of cool. Well, this is, is this a map of the awards theater? What's it doing in that envelope? Well, you're right, there's a utopian symbol on it, and it's pointing to the TV room. That must be where they film the film and broadcast the awards. But if they broadcast the awards from there, you're right, the utopians would need that room to broadcast their brainwashing movie. There's not a second to lose, Ace. Let's investigate that TV room immediately. Yep. Let's see. Can't wait to examine this and talk to Velma. Tyler. Oh. And the award for the fastest reveal goes to Ace. The message on Velma's photo says, Tyler, I want to walk the red carpet with you. We know Velma Bannister flirts to get whatever she wants. She likely tried to draw Tyler's snakes under her spell too. I agree, we must ask Velma what went on between her and the victim. I mean, she's a little, she's a little haughty. I'm not gonna lie. Tyler Snakes dropped dead on the red carpet? Oh, how dramatic. That's how real men die. 
Mrs. Bannister, you may have fooled Frank, but you can't fool Marshall A's. We know you were flirting with the victim. Sure, I admired Tyler. He was powerful and charismatic. Who could resist him? Well, now he's dead. You don't sound very upset. Honey, it's better to have loved and lost than having to train another man not to leave the toilet seat up. I already have a husband for that kind of thing. My heart bleeds for Tyler, but the Ivywood Awards are announced tonight, and I have to rehearse my acceptance speech. Maybe you'll get a mention in it, Marshall Ace. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the final reveal, I actually have uh, kind of an announcement to make at the end of this video. So I hope you guys are waiting around for that. All right, so anyways, so let's go to the badge. That's easy enough. Fan, torn poster, easy enough. Surveillance terminal, I don't know what that means. Popcorn rat, so popcorn. Okay, I had no idea what that was. That's why it's good to have friends, so you can have hints. So this is a TV control room. Where does the awards will be broadcast? The Utopians must have wanted access to air their own brainwashing movie. And there's no sign of a Utopian movie. We, we found our victim's access badge. Well, good point. The killer must have taken the badge from Tyler's body to access the TV room. We need to send this badge to the lab immediately. And that's CCTV control unit. Isn't that where they store the security camera data? They may have recorded the murder. Can you crack the security code so we can access it? And as for that torn paper, I know you'll fix it in a flash, Ace. Such confidence. See, she has so much more confidence in me than Frank. Oh, six hours. All right. Nice and quick. It's probably U7. Yep, that's probably an M. There we go. Nice. Took me a little bit longer, but I figured it out. Ace, you've unlocked the security camera terminal. Let's send it to Hannah so she can retrieve the footage from the crime scene. Now, if this chapter three, I'd say it would lead us to the murder, but I have a feeling it's only going to give us a little bit. The poster restores the Utopian poster. It says the Utopian prophecy is fulfilled tonight. A prophecy? Could they be talking about their plan to brainwash everyone in Ivywood tonight? You're right. We should question the man on the poster. Isn't that Brett Nolan, the Utopian actor you met on that Western movie set? I'm well, glad I got it right. Let's ask Brett about this Utopian prophecy, Ace. Brett Nolan. I don't, I don't know. I don't see him as a leader. Mr. Nolan, Marshall Ace found this Utopian poster with your face on it, which mentions a prophecy. Care to explain? Oh, I don't know much about it, Marshall Ace. The Utopians like to use my pretty face, but they never tell me anything important. Well, don't play dumb, Nolan. You've been a Utopian for years. You must know about this prophecy. Well, it's something about a guiding light leading the departed souls back to Earth or something. I never really understood it. The prophecy doesn't talk about sacrificing the organizer of the award ceremony on the red carpet by any chance? Oh crap, Tyler Snakes is dead? See, they never tell me anything. They wouldn't warn me if the world was ending tonight. Oh snap. Anyways guys, I'm gonna wait a little bit of time before I do this because I need to save cash because believe it or not, this actually costs real money. So a lot of you guys ask for cash, I actually spend my own money to uh, get cash for this game. So I hope you guys are enjoying this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, super excited about this case. And because of that, I'm actually gonna use a lot more cash. So, and again, my money, I use it. You guys support me by liking and commenting. I support by using my own money to speed this stuff up. Anyways, guys, this murder makes me feel like I'm in a movie. Well, a disaster movie, unless we stopped the Utopians in time. Have you found anything useful on the body? 
Yo, yeah! Tyler Snakes was killed exactly like a character in a famous movie. A puff of death. What do you mean, Roxy? The killer copied the murder from a movie? Well, exactly. In the movie, the victim dies from inhaling monomethethal paramino sulfate, a highly toxic chemical. It's mixed in his tobacco, and he smokes it. I found the same residue, the same poison in snakes' lungs, mixed with regular cigarette smoke residue. <coughs> Ew. So he was killed with a poison cigarette? That's insane. Who'd think that up? Someone who's seen it in a puff of death. Ace, I guarantee your killer has seen that movie. Well, it kind of reminds me of uh, Breaking Bad, actually. If you guys know what I mean. Alright, so let's go wait for this one. Hello Ace, I've examined the victim's badge you found in the TV room and found a molecule left behind by the killer. Before I could identify this molecule, my wife called in. Well, this is embarrassing. Look Ace, I'm really sorry, but my daughter got sick and my wife needed me to take her to the doctor. So you didn't have time to identify the molecule the killer left on our victim's badge? Well, don't fret about it, Jan. We both know Ace can identify this molecule in the database in a flash. Can't you, Ace? <laughs> oh, yawn. Ah, so much cash being used. Hey, Ace, I hope you solve this case before the award ceremony starts. I want to know the winners. Well, then hurry up and tell us what you found on the CCTV terminal. Did any of the cameras record the murder? Well, no, the footage only shows Tyler suddenly collapsing, all alone. But a few minutes before, something interesting happened on the red carpet. And grab some popcorn and make yourself comfortable, Ace. I'll play the tape. <coughs> Hey, you in, the, you in the ugly suit. You can't go in there. Just five minutes. I have to. Get out. But... Ouch. Hey, that poor guy thrown out of the red carpet is Russell's dad. Isn't that the best plot twist ever? Hannah, it's not funny. Ace is right. If Jupiter Crane's at the Ward's Theater around the time of the murder, we must question him. I thought we had him locked up, man. Should have kept him locked up. Then he wouldn't have been a suspect. Couldn't have been the murderer either. Mr. Crane, we have proof you were kicked out of the awards theater right before Tyler Snakes was killed. What were you doing there? I was trying to speak to Mr. Snakes about the future of the Utopians. After our great leader's demise, Snakes fancied himself the new leader, but he had lost sight of his guiding light. Snakes only used our religion to rub shoulders with rich investors. He was giving all utopians a bad name. So you illegally entered the premises to harass snakes? Or did you decide to kill him to protect your religion? Well, my conscience is clear, Marshal Ace. It's the guiding light that punished Tyler Snakes, not me. Psycho. Psycho. Crazy. Alright, so what molecule is this? I wonder, is this really a molecule, guys? Does anyone know chemistry? I took chemistry like like once, like for a semester. That's about it. I have no idea what that molecule actually is. Or if that molecule is for like a certain pill or something. Hey, so you've identified the molecule that left the killer left on the victim's badge. It's Nevrax, an antidepressant. Huh, so our killer takes Nevrax. Maybe they're depressed because they know you'll catch them, Ace. I doubt it. I think it's a little bit bigger than that. Great. Tonight was meant to be about the excitement of the Ivywood Awards, but instead we're dealing with Utopians again. And a dead man. Tyler Stanks was going to su supervise the awards ceremony, but someone promised uh, poisoned him on the red carpet. We found proof that Velma Bannister tried to seduce him, but we don't know how that played out. And as for Russell's dad, he got kicked out of the awards theater for harassing the victim. And then there's this prophecy, too. I agree. It must have something to do with the Utopian's plan to brainwash ever. Hey Ace, the prophecy has started. The guiding light is shining on us. The end is nigh. Hannah, have you joined the Utopians too? Oh. Alright. So as I promised, at the end of the video, it's going to let you guys know what's happening. Um, chapter 2 may be released uh, on Sunday. Why the delay? I am actually going on a job interview. Uh, so big changes might be coming, but in order to go to the job interview, I actually have to leave for a little bit. So make sure to like and comment on the video, and I'll see you guys later. This has been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.